Guys, welcome back to another Solo Leveling Rise video. My name is D Free, and today we're taking a look at Silvermane Baekyunho, and uh, we're going to do some gameplay. I hope you guys enjoy. Be sure to subscribe if you are new. About 80% of viewers that are on this Solo Leveling videos are not subscribed because it's a new audience for the channel, which is fair, but if you are part of the 80, be sure to join the 20. Let me know if you guys did any pulls for Beck Yunho. First thing I got to say is he's amazing. I think he's an extremely strong damage dealer. If you haven't seen my summon video, check it out. I talk about his skills, what he does, how he functions. Also, some interesting quirks with him, like, for example, how he's designed to be a character that's a little bit of a glass cannon designed to be in a position where he's at a low HP threshold, and he takes the most out of that by doing extra damage with his skills. So that's really, really cool for him. Also, in terms of artifacts, I talk a lot about which ones you should be using, but I have some different ones in my video here today. So this set I like a lot because he spams basics, he spams core attacks, and I think that this is a good set for him. However, I don't think it's the best set after testing him for the last hour and a half. I think you want to run critical. Uh, toughness, I think it's what it's called, right? The critical set. You put that on this guy, I think. I think you can make do. The, the beauty of this game is I think that a lot of characters have a lot of different sets that they can use effectively, uh, depending on what you're trying to do. And that's probably also why it costs gold to freaking take off these sets, because that way you have to be more diverse with it. You got to build multiple copies of some sets, blah, blah, blah. And they're being stupid scums for it. But anywho, 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 hopefully they fix that. Um, I think this set works, but I think toughness is probably the best because he does so many hits. And for the right side, this was something I thought about because what it'll do is it'll reduce the cooldown of this skill. Uh, and this skill by default has a 15 second cooldown and it lasts for uh, 10 seconds. So with this set on that I have, you'll see the cooldown actually gets reduced to being 10 seconds. And basically, the second it falls off, I can put it back on, which is extremely strong, <laughs> which is extremely strong. I think this set actually fits him very well because his cooldown is so short and it does mesh into that where he can, like I said, loop. Um, but if you don't like this set, then I think the one you would want to run is Berserker, I believe, where the one where he actually does extra damage for being lower on HP. I think that lends itself very well to his kit. There's a few others he could use pretty well, but I think those two are his best ones. This one, I think, is getting a little underrated. At least, I don't know. It just depends on who you I ask, I guess, or who you ask. Concentration of Firepower as a set, the right pieces, because people don't love that it increases the MP consumption. Uh, but it it increases damage effects. Uh, it increases damage increase effect to 18% and cooldown reduction of basic skills to 18% as a four piece. I think it's super strong, especially if you know if it has um, like I said, dark damage here is solid for me as well. Uh, it's kind of hard to get perfect gear pieces, but I'm getting criticals on some of this stuff, so I'll take it. I think this is a really good piece for him personally because, like I said, with a four piece, it just kind of loops that skill. So you guys are going to see that. First and foremost, we're going to take on Casca. Not at all a hard boss, but I'm trying to... So what do you guys recommend I take on for showcases? Um, because it's showcasing characters this way that I'm going to do it in the way that I've done it in other games in the past. It's kind of volatile because there's not really a designated best stage to show him on. There's not like a lot of like content I can really specifically take him to because you, so you're designed to shift characters a lot in this game. Okay, so here's the basics. Take note of the speed. Look at the attack speed. So when I use this secondary skill, look at the attack speed afterwards. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so he is much faster. You're going to see it fall off right here. It's going to go off and my cooldown is right back. So it's off. And then one second later, I can use it again. For whatever reason, there's a one second delay there. But that's fine. So yeah. That's kind of what's happening with that. Whereas without that green gear piece set, it would be a five second delay. Six seconds? I'm not sure, but five second delay. Anyway, let's go in. Let's take on Casca. Casca is so damn bad and easy that I can take him on by myself. It's just, okay. <laughs> this guy is something else. All right. What is Conquest Enhancement buff? Is that just because I'm so crazy for taking this on by myself? I don't know. I'm already down to 75% of my life. Look at the damage I'm doing. The buff's about to fall off right here. Back now if I want it. I'm doing so much damage that the ultimate would... Oh my god, the stun. The ultimate would literally nuke this guy if I did it. 
Oh, by the way, I keep I keep dashing. You don't have to. I realize I can't do it again here, unfortunately. I realized late with this guy that uh, I thought that his second skill gave him super armor for the window that it's activated on. It actually gives him it for the duration that the skill is active. So that also makes me really like that extra set on him that I have on him. So I can constantly have super armor. <laughs> I'll show you that. Well, oh, I can't run this again. I don't have any keys. I've already reset the keys a couple times and failed attempts to record a video showing this guy. Just for the record. <laughs> um, uh, so yeah, that second skill gives him super armor. You know what I can do to show you this? Is the trial. I did the Choi Jung-in trial like two days ago, and it, it had been up for like a month. <laughs> what I can do is show you the trial. How about that? Let's go to the trial, and I can show you my little point with the... Okay, so like what's going to happen here is that it's not going to be mine. It's going to be the, the stock version. Uh, also, his weapons here. What does the weapon do? Increases basic attack damage. I gave, I gave him a weapon that already is doing that, but this one obviously is going to be better. When the user's basic hits, uh, takes damage. Oh, he... He nukes his own life with this, but gets more damage. Oh, man. When we get this on, I think you absolutely could just shred with that 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 right set piece that when he has less HP, you know, do more, right? Let's go into there. Yeah, I so when I read it, I thought he just got super armor for when he activated the skill. But the entire time he has it, he has super armor. So I'll show you here. Watch this. Well, they're hitting me. I just have super armor here. So nothing's really happening. It's going to fall off right now, though. Yeah, that delay sucks. <laughs> that delay. The delay without the green, it's a few seconds, but it still sucks. By the way, in the summon video, I question why that attack does uh, any damage at all. Not that it was bad or anything. Look at the super armor here. Not that it was bad or anything. The reason I questioned it was because it was such a negligible amount. Like, it, it doesn't do any damage. The reason why this is an attacking move at the start is so you're not going to get staggered and knocked out of it, I'm guessing. Because it's not made to do really damage. It does some AoE hits, and I guess if you're getting criticals, it could do some okay damage. But the modifier is like 200%. Like, it's not, it's not a damaging move. So, you know. Oh, they want me to beat 48 of these guys. Okay, I didn't realize that. I was like, how many of these are there? <laughs> like, I'm like, I'm questioning, like, what are these, how many of these guys are there? Like, seriously. Okay. So far, so good. I thought you said you'd tear them to pieces, you fraud. There's still three more, two more left, bro. Absolute fraud hours here. <laughs> so, I actually, like I said, I'm really talking myself into that reduction set. Uh, and I don't want to keep, I don't want to keep harping on it, but I think it's super strong. Let's go to Egress here. Let's go to Egress. Can I take Egress on? I mean, I can in the story, but wasn't there a Dark Egress? You've already claimed this. Okay, whatever. There. Oh, there's a Dark Eagers, but it's in the stupid instance dungeon. Because that's an instance dungeon boss. Oh, that sucks. I guess we'll also take this opportunity to show the support version. Okay, we'll take this opportunity. Well, I don't... Hmm. I'll take Libora off. Okay. You have to have breakers with this guy. Otherwise, you just it just kind of sucks. All right, hopefully I get it on my first try. I am so tired. I'm not very alert. Excuses made, sure, but reality sets in as well. And Egress can be annoying with him freaking bouncing all over the goddamn map. I almost did not get that shadow step. Oh, yeah, I'm not in it. <laughs> I'm not. In it. I can tell already. So, 
quick qu clarification. If you guys know, please let me know. For his skill, uh, his support skill is one where it, it just increases damage but makes me take more damage. So is that, I assume that uh, that stuff applies to Jinnu, right? I guess I can, hold on. If I turn off the automatic, where's it at? Where's the button for that? Dude, button is that? Oh, it's, it's gonna be an L, yeah, it's L3. I guess I'll find out here. Look at, so at the bottom of the screen, right above this retry button right here, there are the buff icons. So when I do the skill to bring in Beck Yunho, I guess we'll find out live in the video together if the buffs are being applied to me, which is actually a really big deal if they are. Oh, that, so I see a little white tiger thing down there. I guess that's Beck Yunho's buff, which is also not, it's good and also not great if it means I take more damage, like his skill says. And the reason I wasn't sure is because, you know, it says the user, but like he's a support character, so. You know, but they can't, they don't have any, like, it's kind of weird and contradictory because they, it's not like they can die or anything. Right? So anyway, let's get back to this and try to actually win now. <laughs> can stop BSing. Oh, I actually got the daily uh, recovery. That's fine. I'm going to lose here. <laughs> Too much BS. Too much BSing. Okay. All right. All right. Too much BSing. <laughs> hey, we got kind of close. I thought we were actually still going to pull it off. Too much BSing. And my scythe nuked my life. All right. Let's go in again. I'll get it this time, though. If you haven't already, be sure to hit that thumbs up. I'm having fun, man. I hope you guys are as well. Wow. I didn't get that. I was pretty sure I was getting that. I must have moved like a slit, you know, just out of his range. Very unfortunate. What? I didn't even see the flash for that. Haha, <laughs> sucks to be you. Already broken? Couldn't be me. Couldn't be me. Could not be me. Look at how much bigger that Igris is than mine. <laughs> That's so funny. Okay, here he is across the map. Wait, I don't have any shadows. I'm just realizing I have no shadows. <laughs> Maybe that's why things were kind of sketchy last round. I don't have any shadows. What the hell? <laughs> okay. Because I would normally summon them there, so they're the targets, not me. I'm looking at it like, wait a minute, what the hell? Where are my shadows at? That's so funny. Goodbye, life. <laughs> the scythe making me trigger this is so funny. Dude, where are my shadows at? I got finessed. <laughs> if I can get my ult, I'll win. Oh, no, no. Oh, I'm stupid. This is how you know I'm tired. So the layout changed. My shadows would have been on the bottom corner. The other bottom corner. So I'm looking for them, and they're in the bottom left corner. The layout is different. So with this update, they reset my graphic settings and a bunch of stuff. Like, I had to go in and change a bunch of stuff. Let's try this again. Yeah, like, it, it wasn't looking like that before. Unless I'm just misremembering. Okay, whatever. I'm tired. I'm, I'm just I'm just yapping, bro. I'm just yapping. That's what they say, right? That's what the kids say these days. I'm just yapping. Oh my god, I'm so I'm so close to getting this freaking break. Okay, there it is. I was gonna say, dude, come on. Oh my god, he's losing so much life. <laughs> That's so great. That is so great. That's so great. That's so great. <laughs> okay, his break gauge is back. Whoa, I couldn't see anything there. That was kind of weird. I should have used this first, though, for the invincibility. I used the death dance accidentally first. Ah, boo! Oh, the freeze came in super clutch right there. The freeze was super duper clutch.
You're kidding me. This dude's about to die, and I'm going to die first. You're kidding me. Thank God I got this break. <laughs> Dude. Multi-strike invincible right there is so broken. <laughs> oh, I didn't kill him. No, you're kidding me. There it is. God damn it. <laughs> so... Okay, okay, okay. So he if he's if he's giving more me more damage, that's really strong. If that is how he's working. I think I think if you're gonna use him as a supporter though, you probably could get by with one of the support based artifact sets. Right? That would still trigger as a supporter, right? I typically only use those on my hunters for well, I only pay attention. I need to test it then. I only pay attention when I put those on them for like hunter stages. The ones where they, when they switch out, you get the extra attack. That probably should still trigger, right? I don't pay attention when they're supporting Janu. Uh, all right, let's go to the gates and see if there's a good gate I can take on. I feel like there was a point I was going to make before I decided to use this to do the support fight, but it's all right. Let's rescan. Oh, there's an S rank Janu. What is this? Uh, if it didn't resist dark, I would have ran it. Lame. I'm going to skip these. If it didn't resist dark, I would have ran it. Okay, let's see what we have. Dark, dark, dark weakness, dark weakness, dark weakness. Ooh, a special gate. Don't you dare be the goddamn goblins. I hate that one. What do you guys do to, to beat that one? I haven't tried it in a while, though, to be fair. Everything here is Janu. Okay, well, I guess we're taking on the wild werewolf. <laughs> no, no, don't don't do that. Don't do that. You tripping. Girl, you tripping. Don't do that. Don't you do that. Knock it off. Knock it off. But I do like having another dark SSR hunter. That's pretty nice. Because I didn't have Lim, right? And Lim, I think, was dark, right? Look at all those crits he's getting. Look at all those crits. I mean, never mind. Those aren't crits. Those are type advantage hits. Oh, my God. I'm so tired. <laughs> There's some crits in there, but those are just type advantage hits. Yeah, you also not, again, not having to dodge here at all is kind of crazy. It's unfortunate he takes so much damage. That's how they balanced it is they made him take damage because he, he, he takes more damage when he uses it. That's how they balance that crap, but it's a really strong skill. Maybe you could run him with the healer. I don't know that I would love using him with the healer, but I think you could, I think I'm too busy talking. I think you could do that. Who the hell was, what the hell did you miss that for? It was a bunch of enemies, bro. Oh my God, he's gonna die. He just takes so much damage. Also, I'm not playing great, but he takes so much damage. Oh, he actually hit someone there. Nice. I knew that was going to happen. I knew that was about to happen. <laughs> oh, my God. I knew that was going to happen. You know what I actually... You know what I want to see? You know what I want to see here? Instead of watching my terrible gameplay, I want to see, see this. By the way, I'm not disillusioned into thinking I'm great at the game because I'm not. I think my opinions can be valid, but I'm not the best. I want to see what the computer does with him. I actually think the AI in this game, it's not the best, but I think it's actually like much better than a lot of games. But that's like a that's like a really low bar though, right? Like <laughs> a lot of games have some really really trash AIs. Like that's that's kind of a really low bar, but still. <laughs> Dude, like, for example, dodge. Like, why did I have to dodge that one myself? It's freaking dodge. They're hitting you 50 billion times. Also, the camera. I have to manage, manage the camera, apparently. Dodge. Do they, does, the, does, does, the, does the AI not know how to dodge? Because I'm doing all the dodges. 
I'm literally doing all the dodges. I don't think we even need Libora's damage increase circle. Not on this stage, anyway. The charms are still useful, but like the the circle, I don't think we need. See what he does here in the circle. Type advantage was that 127k? Not the worst. Why do I have to do all the dodges game? For what reason? Nice try. I said I would see what the AI is doing, but I'm basically playing. Because the AI is also not going to clear this in time. I had to do that basically all by myself. That's why I went quiet. I was focusing. The dumb game was not going to clear it in time. <laughs> well, all in all, I think we 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 pretty much covered what I wanted to cover with Beast or uh, Silvermane Bekunho. I think he's really strong. I think his damage is really strong. I just have two gripes with him. The take I've never seen. I don't want to say never because glass cannons exist everywhere. It's very rare, is what I'll say, where a character can be exceptional in a game where they're designed to take damage. Uh, it, it, because of the way that that just works, right? So I think with him, if you're going to use him, I think, I, I don't, I guess you have to use a healer. I don't want to say you have to, because it just depends. It's either you're going to use a healer or you're going to be super good at the game. And by good at the game, I mean you have to really know what you're doing with your dodges. You have to know when and where to use that super armor because he, he will get nuked when he's doing it. And you need to know how to get your how to really effectively use your shadows and QTEs your, your, for iframes or things like that to skip out on damage on your team overall, right? So, like, there are things like that that I think are really, really strong with this guy. But inevitably, I think, I think he may may be in a position where he ages kind of poorly but that's not anytime soon this is the same way i kind of felt about Choi. this is not anytime soon maybe six months from now things like that partly because he and also for the record Choi does not have a break gauge uh, manipulation i think breaking the opposition will the simple utility of having a break will age very well in this game because not all characters have it not all bosses have it but if you have it there's automatically a premium on your skills so just simply having that will be fun. Uh, a Dark Horse character to use alongside this guy in just general gameplay might actually be Wu Jinchul because of the extra dashes. I think you could get you can get by with that uh, as a means of defense because obviously extreme evasion, shadow step, blah, 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 depending on which character, is this game's primary form of defense because they haven't designed the game in a way where they're really looking at you trying to tank hits unless your character is an actual tank design character like kim chul or something um <clears throat> most of the time it's a dps game and 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 the timers you know the timer in the game 
hard determines that it's a DPS game. And I think if the focus is DPS, I think I think he's one of the best damagers in the game also because I'm pretty sure he has a bleed mechanic too. And so with that, he is going to peak extremely high offensively. Like I said, I would still change that set on him. Yeah, bleed here. I would still change that set on him, the, the left one, to being crit one. But I think solid foundation works perfectly fine. I think it works perfectly fine. So what I would say is like it depends which one you have higher, you know, level slash tier, right? So all in all, I had an awesome time checking out Beast Form Baek Yun Ho. If you didn't see the summons, check it out. It's on your screen now.